Okay, good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us for Digital Coats of Paint um, this morning. Today's session, we're going to be reviewing the new SEO brand building solutions that was discussed on Monday's Ask the Expert. Um, hopefully you were all on that call. There was a lot of information unpacked on that session and we're gonna break it down a little further. This is a new uh, program that is replacing SEO as we knew it uh, with GEO and also replacing some other programs and we're gonna delve into that with this session. So again, hopefully you were on that call. This will be a review and just a basic starting point and we'll dig deeper into this, um, this program later on. So the agenda for today, what exactly is SEO brand building? Why are we looking at brand building versus the old way of SEO? Um, what new packages are we offering? And we'll open the floor for any questions. So, oops. All right. So what exactly is SEO brand building? So SEO brand building, and you'll see it in the audit or the wiki as brand building, not SEO brand building, so just keep aware of that. Um, it is our new SEO solution, so it's basically replacing the previous SEO deliverables that we have in place, had in place. Um, it's the process of really improving the voice, visibility, and worth of our client's brand throughout the web. It's a new approach that we're, we're taking, uh, given that Google is taking new approaches on, on how we're delivering um, search results. So we need to really change our focus and look at core component optimization. We're looking at new content marketing, local listings, and then also looking at reputation management. So reputation management is now going to be blended into this new brand building solution. So what kind of benefits are our clients going to see with these new solutions we're coming up with? Well, through this, we're gonna be producing more relevant and informative content. We're going to help really increase their online visibility. So it's not just strictly, it's really building their online portfolio. Um, we're gonna maximize exposure through local listings um, and we're going to heighten their confidence in their brand's online presence. Um, so this is something that our clients may not really be thinking about, and this is something we're going to help them think more about and help them actually do. We're going to oversee and maintain their online reputation, uh, fine-tune their site to drive optimum search results, and we're really going to track the results to better understand their site traffic. So again, this is building back into campaign insights. So what's new? So what's new here is that SEO and maps as individual offerings are no longer going to exa exist. So whatever SEO program we had in place and maps and reputation are no longer existing. They're gone. It has been replaced by the new brand building solution. So we're, we're adding a full service reputation management solution to brand building. Um, and that's gonna include review collection, um, active monitoring, it's going to be response and tracking of a business's online reputation. That is now going to be included with brand building. So local listings are also included with the manual claiming. So what we were using for maps, you know, in essence, is, is claiming those listings. We're going to include that now in the manual claiming of five listings plus syndication of business listings across the four major data providers. So this is something new. But maps and reputation will remain in the territory packages or realtor packages. So that offering, I don't think, if I recall, none of our group have really used it in a territory package uh, to this point. Brett, if I, am I wrong in that? Um, I know that the O&E team has not had a maps and reputation territory package. Um, uh, yeah, we did do one. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of out of the territory package. Now we're still running the maps section. Okay. But we did do one for... Um, uh, a previous client back um, about a year okay. and a half ago. So, okay, well, so so just it will. I guess that program will remain in the territory packages. Um, I I still would probably strongly consider whether or not it's still relevant to do. Um, but you know that's something to re if you have that uh, in mind, that's something you can discuss with with Brett and I and your manager. So, uh, reporting is still going to be available through the existing maps and rep dashboard. So. 
What else is new? Um, off-site techniques are now going to be focused more on content marketing, um, like on-site blog posts, visual content, social sharing, and outreach. So it's going to be a kind of a new approach based more on content marketing. The focus of the core optimization is going to be more on keyword topics rather than specific keywords. And this is going to help because it's helping support the change in search algorithms towards more semantic and really more personalized searching that's going on. So again, it's going to be more on keyword topics rather than specific keywords, and that's a pretty significant change. So going into that a little deeper here, focusing on topics rather than, than keywords, the goal behind this is to drive as much relevant traffic as possible to the client's brand and content on the web through organic search. So it's more about that brand again. Um, overall reach of the topic matters more than the search volume for a single keyword. So in this case, it's more about the topic that the customer is offering. And we're going to focus on their core products and services. And when we, we conduct keyword research and analysis, it's going to be on an ongoing and constant basis. And this is going to ensure that we're actually optimizing for the most relevant keywords. So even as they're evolving and changing, that's what we're going to still be optimizing on because we're going to be doing continual research on it. Okay. So what else is new? Uh, report focusing on the amount of traffic we're generating to a brand and its content on the web. So again, focus more on the brand. Um, we're going to report on the progress of the business's local listing and the reputation on the, the web. The clients are going to be able to view all this content uh, generated and the data around it on their, um, wait, performed by GeoDigital on their behalf, providing transparency. So basically, this is all going to be on the, the Campaign Insights dashboard, and they're going to read their, receive their content on a monthly basis. So they'll actually have time to review it, and if there's any suggested changes, they'll have more of an input into that. So, Brad, I'm just going to go through a couple of these slides still, and then uh, I'll switch it over to you, okay? Okay, sounds good. So, what's the difference here, old SEO and new SEO? I pulled this um, this slide and the, the following couple slides from the new collateral. Just to let all of you guys know, the wiki now has all the new collateral um, on brand building. So, if you go into the wiki right now, they actually switched that over very quickly. So, when you go to the wiki, it says... Uh, brand building solutions uh, that has a lot of new content. I strongly suggest you go in there. Um, either you know save that new collateral if you have a folder on your desktop like I do. Save it in that folder. Um, you know review it. Look over the talking points. It's really important you get familiar with the, the new collateral. So what is the difference here in old SEO versus the new SEO? So old SEO the goal was always for ranking number one for specific keywords. For high volume keywords, okay. Um, the goal for new SEO is really to be found more across local platforms and to create informative, engaging content that's going to support the customer's buying journey. It's a different approach at how we're doing things. So, you know, versus specific keywords versus focusing on themes, topics, um, leaving keywords behind and focusing more on overarching topics. Um, so instead of customers seeing specific results, they're going to see related topics, contents, and reviews. It's creating kind of a new awareness of that customer and their brand, excuse me, of that business and their brand. So research has found that 15% of daily searches are brand new. So new SEO is going to help support that, that statistic. So in the past, old SEO is more about keyword stuffing for clicks and rankings, whereas now it's a content marketing strategy. Um, so a great press release or comment link can backlink to sites. Relevant, valuable content guides buyers through their online buying journey, and it will naturally lead to organic link shares and comments across the web. So it's, again, it's a new approach. It's a new look. Um, old SEO was visiting multiple websites to gather information. Uh, calls or emails to get more information not available on the site, and old SEO focused on combining uh, combines, reviews, and uh, comparative information from various sources versus new SEO, which is, you know, consumers are going to see more relevant and engaging content, 
and it's also building into the likelihood that they're going to share that on social media sites. Hey, Sam, so, yeah. I'll just finish your thought real quick. I was just going to, Dean had a question. Oh, I was just going to say companies who are blocking are actually receiving 97% more links to their website. Okay. So again, guys, this collateral can be found right on the wiki, um, which is where I pulled it. Go ahead, Brett. What was Dean's question? And yeah. I'm going to turn this over to you in just a moment. Okay. Uh, Dean says, can you make up an example, please? Um, Dean, do you want to get on the mic and, and be a little bit more specific? Are you talking about keyword examples versus the content marketing? Jordan says video. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, basically that, but I'm also talking about uh, it, it continually says we're going to uh, do content marketing strategy and kind of create that it, in how is that even done or what, what are we doing on the back end to create content for the client? That's, that's what I'm confused about. Well, Dean, I think what I'm going to have to, again, we were on the same call as you Monday. So this is a new strategy for us as well. So what I'm going to have to probably refer you back to is number one, my suggestion is we all get a little bit more familiar with, with some of this strategy via the wiki. So pulling this content uh, from the Scott, wiki. Yes. Scott, yeah. it's Jamie. Um, it's been my experience that typically as they're writing SEOs, um, the content that they're pulling from is industry journals. Um, they'll go out and if it's, you know, seasonal type information, that type of thing. And they'll also work very closely with the client, but um, they'll also go out and, you know, you Oops, I put myself on mute, huge resource. Can you say that last sentence real quick, Janie? You did cut out for a second. Uh, yeah. Um, they'll go out and find industry journals, whether it be you know they subscribe to something or you know, you know, out on the web. They'll pull you know different types of content down and and you know customize it for the client based on the client's goals and you know what kind of um, brand they're trying to create. So our, you know, our people should be doing a significant amount of that work. I mean, hopefully, is that answering your question, Dean? Uh, yeah, that what, I, what I'm not understanding is, is when, they're, when they're creating the content, who are they, uh, is, it, is, it being, is the content being sent out to the people that, that are, uh, uh, you know, not putting a keyword in, but putting a keyword phrase or a, or a concept together? Is it sent out to the client? Yes. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, well, yeah, no, let's, I... say somebody's, let's say somebody's doing a search, and, uh, you know, they used to search a keyword, and, you know, everybody knows how that worked, but now they're doing a, a search for a keyword also, which the, you know, which the public knows no different right now. So we, we're going to take that keyword and, and turn it into basically a, a, the concept behind the keyword or a something related to it and then you know raise the sites up seo that way I'm, I'm not understanding how this is working let let me give you an example this is coming yeah. from the wiki a little bit they said uh we're going to be doing some stuff like on-site blog post so we're going to be doing some creation of um blog posting um the they're going to have a team that's uh dedicated to content and developing content that's going to create and distribute a variety of content specifically designed to engage with customers regardless of what they're searching so instead of just focusing on keywords and looking at you know like the old packages we focused on five keywords or ten keywords and we just kind of put the put that within the current context of their website we're literally going to be creating new content you know and then creating topics around that content. So it's going to be more of content creation, topic creation, and as Scott said, we're going to get more specific or we're going to get more information as to, to some of the specifics that are coming out uh, right. related to that. But the concept here is that we're going to be talking more about the uh, the ish or the uh, the topics that a person wants to talk about, those specific topics and focus and gear those SEO campaigns, you know, whether it's on-site and off-site, whether it's blog posts or we're talking about uh, article distribution out there about certain topics. So those topics are going to be, that content's going to be created around those topics. Keywords are going to be 
centered around those topics. You know, social is going to be centered around those topics. So it's all it's all about topics and content, um, and uh, basically, you know, just those um, those top uh, those top uh, uh, keyword topics that we're going to be talking about products or services. Does that make more sense? Hey. Dean, I was going to add to that as well. Dean, it, it, also, does, it does a little bit make more sense. The and, and obviously we all got to delve into this deeper. The uh, you know you can see how the old SEO when somebody popped a keyword in and you know they could relate it directly to the client and start pushing them up the organic listings here. But on a content-based uh, keyword, uh, you know, for no other uh, example, I mean, for content. How is that driving the uh, the customer's website up organically if it's just like an idea or a, or a concept of what the client does? I mean, it's going to encompass 8 billion companies doing it that way as opposed to individual keywords directly related to that company. Keywords I don't know Dean, if that made sense. Dean, think or... about this. Dean, the, where it says here in the first thing, like the old keyword idea of stuffing, keyword stuffing. We've all run into that. We've all, through our Google searches, run across somebody who really isn't relevant to what we want to find, but because of keyword stuffing, because of focus on this, it's just not a relevant, it's not a relevant result. Dean, Dean. And Google is moving towards more, and, and I know what you're saying, I understand that, but the whole idea behind this is to make it a much more relevant search result based on more of that, the content on that business's site versus just a keyword stuffing concept. And maybe I'm going the wrong path okay. here, but I know we're going to, when we get a little bit deeper into here, Brett's going to go over when the packages break down, you can see step by step, like what um, the, uh, the geo team is actually going to do. Um, maybe not the process behind what they're going to do, but what they're actually going to, to offer the customer in each package. I don't know if that'll help don't break it down. Too much into this deep guys, because they're still, um, going to deliver for client searches for heating and cooling in Brighton, Michigan, they're still going to deliver, right. you know, but um, if there is a specific trend happening, if there's an ice storm happening and, you know, they may develop content around a ice storm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of reaching out there. I'm trying to give you a good example um, where it would be relevant for a heating and cooling um, guy to show up you know, they're marketing. That's, that's kind of a bad example, but I'm trying, it's, it's, it's a whole group of keywords basically pulled together to create and support a brand in the direction the client is wanting to go to. So, but they're still going to deliver. It's not like mm -hmm. they wouldn't deliver. Okay. So, so it's all, and I think what we, I think you're right. We all could get a better explanation and we will search for that. I'm going to go um, do a quick search on online real quick too. Dean, just to answer your question more specifically, you're saying how can a web, how can a search engine find you if you're just talking about content? Cause there's so co much competition out there. You know, it's not just content. Like the, it's going to be keywords. It's going to be the name, address and phone number. It's going to be social signals, you know, the, uh, the local listing signals, it's going to be the on-site signals, the off-site signals. So, and then we're going to we're going to make sure that all those signals are pointing to a specific topic. So it's not just one certain thing. And, and search engines now are not necessarily concerned. And this is where your question comes in. Search engines right now are not necessarily concerned with keywords anymore, but the relevancy and the intent behind a keyword or behind a search. So their algorithms have changed over to the context, intent, and um, basically the the meaning behind content now. So that's what what that's what this package is all about. It's encompassing all the elements and making sure that all what each one of those signals and elements on social, on listings, on content, on keywords, uh, are, are all pointing towards that one topic that we're going to focus on, and we're going to. We're going to make sure that we're optimizing for each one of those dimensions um, and making sure that, that, that the search engines are getting what they want in terms of context within that content. So we're going to get more specific. We're going to get more information. But the algorithms have changed more over to content and not just keywords. So they will, they care about content now. They care about, you know, what is the value that you're giving on your website? What's the value you're giving to your online community? And, if, and as long as that you have content, that, I mean, and yeah, the keywords are important, but as long as you have the content that's relevant, remember, 
they have sophisticated programs now and algorithms that can read the content and understand the meaning behind it. And if that meaning makes sense uh, to to what that what the what you're trying to convey within the context of that content, then you will get rewarded uh, organically. That's just how the new SEO is different from the old SEO. You could go in and literally type up a paragraph on a web page and then just put a whole list of 50 keywords down one page and you'd get ranked for it just because your keywords found in there. That's why they're doing this because they want to make sure that the context within a web page is relevant to the content. You could have all the content and all the right. keyword stuff in the world, but you're not going to get ranked anymore because they know that you're just trying to basically game the search engines and they want to make sure that you have content that's relevant, that is um, insightful to what people are looking for. And the search engines can read that now, you know, so that's... I mean, Dean, Dean, Dean here's, here's just a quick, like, I mean, just an example too, like, like concrete pour, okay? Maybe, maybe it, there's a concrete company that does like just pouring, just whatever. But, you know, there's one company out there that does a lot more like creative concrete. They do patios, they do creative, you know, pourings. And they have like links to blogs. They've got a really healthy social media presence. They're on Facebook, they do Twitter posts, you know, they post videos. I mean, but you've got another company that has just a standard site that is doing like, you know, keyword stuff in there. They're just out there, you know, trying to get you know, just really based on keywords, not necessarily relevancy. So, so to you as a consumer, which one would be more relevant to you? You want to have a new, uh, you know, patio put in with, with some decorative um, aspects to it. You know, that, that website that's got all that additional content strategy behind it realistically should be more relevant to what you're looking for. And that's what the idea behind this is, is to make that, okay. that more that, relevant to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, now, it really does make sense, and I guess my mind was going toward, remember, this is for the new SEO. If somebody does want a particular product sold or a particular service, I noticed Julie had said something a little while ago that was really relevant, then they should go into a PPC campaign instead of an SEO type campaign. But yeah, this, this makes complete sense as far as uh, you know how the search engines are looking for content for websites. Uh, and context to, to start ranking them higher as opposed to I'm an individual store owner, I want to sell one product, which that person should be on a PPC campaign and not an SEO campaign anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Brett, I'm gonna stop presenting and turn it over to you. Do you wanna go ahead and take over or, or do you wanna just keep going? Um, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take over. I was All just right. gonna, okay, that's fine. Oh, I just didn't know. We're at the midpoint. That's why I right. didn't know if that's where we were switching over. Oh, that's okay. You know, like, just... Are there any questions while we're doing the switchover? Anybody have any questions? Let me know when you can see my screen. All right. I'll let you know. Hey, Scott. I actually had one question. Yeah, go ahead, Jordan. Jordan. So... With the new SEO solutions I get, and there's different different tiered packages, but how does that work? In the past with Go Digital, they wouldn't actually work on someone's website or one of our clients' websites in the past. So now you're saying that with this new SEO product, they will be able to rebuild and redesign pages so they're more engaging and have that content, or? Well, we're going to have to make sure that I, that the website is yeah, a geocompatible website too. So, uh, right. we're going to get you more information on that, but it, I don't believe that you can just go out there and just basically like, for instance, we're going to be working in social. We're going to be working with embeds. We're going to be working with more type of like modern programming that websites can have for social icons, all that stuff. If a website doesn't have that, it's just a static HTML, you know, that's from web one. It's like, you know, they're probably going to say, you know, in order for you to actually get a good, for to start off to get a good SEO in, in general, you're going to have to update your website. You know, we're not going to yeah. do all this SEO work and not even have an updated relevant website to where we can make basic, you know, changes on the website. And some of those old templates that are out there, you know, you, you can't do that with, you know, some of them aren't mobile. They don't have responsive design on them. 
or you know they're they're so old that you, they don't even have room for header tags or any of that stuff so it's we're, we'll get you more specific information on what exactly websites are gonna be you know SEO compatible with that but right now I'm you know we're right now we're just gonna have to kind of play it by ear uh, but we will get you more information on that Jordan I will I will tell you yesterday I did get an audit back from geo um, that actually um, said that same thing like the, the basically said we can't start a brand building solution for this customer because their website is outdated so first and foremost they have to update their website so so geo is going to basically come back to us and say they're not going to they can't move forward until that website is updated so and Scott, just to reiterate what Jordan was just saying if a website is coming in that way where it's an old website and it needs uh, updating it looked to me like the the new program here says they will help the client to create content but that's that's where I'm a little bit confused too. And what Jordan's question just was too is, let's say that the the website is terrible or an old one or whatever, uh, and Geo team, like you just said, happened at that audit. They came back and said, guys, they need to update their website before we even start this. So websites have to be to a certain level before they will even take on this challenge. And then once they do bring somebody on will we create content for that person to help them? Is that part of the package? Yeah, the team's gonna, go I mean, ahead, Scott. No, I was gonna say, yeah, go ahead, Brad, go ahead. I was just gonna say, the team's gonna come back with those recommendations and say, these are the topics that are out there, these are the ones that we should focus, you know, they're gonna give recommendations, obviously they're gonna wanna hear what the business owner wants to do, but as far as the competitive landscape and like what's out there, they also will be giving the realistic, you know, recommendations that we can focus on. But yeah, it's our understanding at this point that we will be able to, uh, that they're gonna be able to actually create that content. They're gonna be having their own research teams now. And you know, in the past we were really more or less just writing, like not even writing, we just expected the client to have all this information. They're really going to have a research team now that's going to go back in there and do some more research on their end and see the SEO competitive landscape and put that content together and context together in a more appropriate way than what a normal client you know would would do. Um, we're probably still going to get some you know we of course we need some information from the client to get started and and probably going to be sending over documents and stuff about whatever topics or services that they want to focus on then the geo team will come back and basically say okay this is the layout that we have these are you know the positionings that we want for keywords you know does this look okay you know we're, we're, I'm, I'm assuming and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's clear to me that that's what it's gonna look like so when we're talking about blog posting or we're talking about visual content creation or outreach or social sharing those are all gonna be written in that context and we're gonna have those specific uh, topics that we're gonna be relying on from the client to give us Hey, Scott, I'm, and then thanks, Brett, that answered my question. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just going to try to get unconfused here. Scott, the audit you pulled yesterday when they came back and said to you, uh, you know, this customer needs an updated website, will the GEO teams at that point recommend how to update that website? No, no, no. For Dean, the GEO team is recommending that they do the website. They gave me a, they gave us a quote for them building the website instead or suggested that we submit a quote requesting custom website. So the geo team is going to ask say hey we can build a website for them which is what they should do. That's that's you know we're going to offer a product. Um, and and I think here here's a couple of things though Dean too and, and I got to have to mention this again. Again, this is some new uh, information for us as well as you guys. We're just the whole purpose of doing this today is just to get an overview of what we're doing. There is going to be if I can say this, there is going to be an encore presentation of the Ask the Expert on the 17th. So they're gonna actually repeat this whole process again. So any questions that, you know, we're, we're gonna try and get answers as we go along. I know that Brett and I, this is part one, we're gonna have a part two, we're gonna dig a little deeper into this as well. And, and again, we need to review this, the wiki information too, to see what exactly is new. Um, so, so again, we're not trying to avoid these, these questions and we're trying to give you the best answers that we have at this moment. Um, so I think these are good questions, guys. This is very good conversation because, you know, anytime you're trying to 
understand something, it's good to kind of spit it out of your mouth and be able to articulate it. So I think this is excellent discussion. Good job. So again, though, too, then, so the 17th, if, if you guys actually, actually missed the first session, um, you know, it's an encore session. And either with the encore session, either they're going to go over the whole information again, or they'll just have, you know, you an open session where they'll answer any questions when you review the recording of the previous session. So, so you know, I'm just suggesting if you guys have some, some questions that perhaps we're not finding, that could be another opportunity to, to get answers as well. Hey, so, hey, Brett, I'm going to turn it over to you. Hey, Scott, I just want to say one thing. Um, in regards to SEO, old SEO, I mean, you really have to look at old SEO and look at what those layers are, and that's what Janie is saying, because a lot of those layers are still the foundations of SEO. They're just looking at newer trends for new SEO, and it's still working together. So you really got to have your core competencies of what true SEO is versus where SEO is going, and that's all I wanted to say. So... Okay. Yeah, that's a good point for a journey. Hey, Scott. Again, too, we got to keep in mind, too, that we are moving. The reason we're doing this is because Google is changing. And that's, that's, that's what this is all about. We have, to, we have to adapt to the changes that they are making. We can't just keep kind of doing the same processes because it's, it's not the same, you know, world out there in, in terms of search engine results. So, hey, Scott. Yeah, go ahead, Brett. Do you want to, uh, why don't we dig deep into this a little bit on the next session? Because we're kind of going to get over time. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to cover as far as the deliverables yeah. and everything. Um, this is really a deep product, and we can't, you know, I want to give an over, but like there's just so many, there's so many dimensions of this that I would really like to take another session and to deep, dig deeper. I'd like to answer, we got a lot of questions that came in too. Um, you know, as far as, you know, what are all the other, you know, things, B2B solutions, all that stuff. Um, cause I know we're getting over time here. We're probably getting on 840, uh, close here. So do you want to, you want to do the deliverables and all the other tiers on the next uh, call? Because yeah, I think we, we should do that. Cause I would like to talk about these a lot more specifically and not just give a, a quick run through because without explaining it. Um, there's just a lot of stuff here. I think so. that's, a, that's a great idea, guys. And you know what? Why don't um, why doesn't everybody come to the next meetings with some questions? Yeah. So um, if you know this is kind of fresh for Livingston, um, we have a meeting tomorrow, and then Oni, we have you know next Wednesday. You've got some time to just kind of look at it, look through those articles I sent you. And then let's we'll all kind of do some some research because like Brett said, this is this is a deep topic. SEO is not, it's very complex and it's um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes and it's very important if you're going to talk about it with a client, it's just really important that you really understand and you have the confidence in how you know what what we have available. This is awesome. I mean, it is you know, it is new. Um, you know, content has been around and this is the driving force for SEO for a while, but you know, this topic thing is, is fairly new. And I think I love the fact that our company is jumping on board and, and making the unnecessary changes. So excellent job, Brett and Scott, you know, Jordan, Dean, Julie, awesome questions. So good job. That's, um, that's how we all learn. Janie, one more quick question. I'll everybody go here. Is this something that Gannett has created it that's different, that's a competitive advantage to us against all other, uh, you know, clients or, or, or against all other vendors? Or is this something now everybody's going to be doing this? Or are we going to, like, is this some brand new concept that we're only doing that we're going to really put a big marketing program out for this? Or do you know anything about that? Um, it's out there. So just the fact that I quickly, you know, Googled, um, a, I don't remember what I put in the Google search, but topic content marketing or whatever, SEO, and it immediately came up, the two articles that I sent you, it's out there. Companies have to get their staff and everybody in place to be able to start doing this with the campaign. So I think we have a distinct advantage. I think we're probably one of the first ones out there, um, getting it out there and doing it, um, you know, and, and so let's... Um, Let's go go tackle it. And, and really another very important piece to this is when to understand 
to present SEL versus PPC. So we'll start talking about that alongside um, this because SEL may not be for every business and it's kind of to your point, Dean. So we will, um, we'll just continue down this path and uh, we'll just uh, build our SEO brand building muscle here. So um, I think we, you know, just to answer your question quickly, I think we're one of the front runners, but I think everybody will be following. Yep, good, yeah. Um, we will definitely get into this a little bit uh, more on the next session. Like I said, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in, and we want to make sure that we understand this and not just give you a bunch of just quick information so you go out there and start listing benefits without understanding the meaning behind it. So um, we will cover it. I believe next week we'll just cover it a little bit more and prepare with questions, and um, we will uh, uh, we will uh, reconnect and uh, move forward with uh, part two of this. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Have a good day.